What you're about to see is the story of Pride and Prejudice, the novel written by Jane Austen. Although you may have read the book, you may have watched the TV series, or you may have seen the movie, which was terrible, this is the alternate version. Most of the time we put our main focus on the main character of the story, who is Elizabeth Bennet, but not in this video. This video is different. I'm pretty much the richest person in this land. All the girls pretty much love me, and all of them are busted. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know why the ugly girls are coming after me, but I'm pretty much the man around here, so... Alright, after that, you wouldn't think Darcy to be a very nice guy. It came off pretty douchey to me. Or perhaps I might have come off the wrong foot. He could be a good person for all I know. Sit at the school, you have to be handicapped to ride the elevator. I told him I had a broken leg. But I don't! <laughs> or maybe not. Anyways, the next character in this story is the man, Mr. Bingley. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not using this time, I'm just sitting on my wallet. Okay, that might have been just a little bit of a snobby remark, but he does mean well. Should I get the um, hmm, four-story yacht or Lamborghini? Both men wealthy with a large amount of money and unique in their own way. You know, when it comes to cars, I'm all about class. I like, I like the foreign-made cars, but when it comes to efficiency, nothing beats the Fiat. Ha-ha! Loser! Darcy can still have his moments, but for the most part, they're friends. Dude, you see the uh, champion, national championship game two nights ago? Notre Dame and uh, Alabama? Yeah, dude. Alabama, Alabama whooped up on Notre Dame. It was, it was awful, dude. I wanted Notre Dame to win just for no particular reason. I, but... I was just kind of hoping for the underdogs. Really? One lie? Are you serious? One lie? Here, she's not going to go talk to that. Oh, dude, thanks, thanks. Oh, that is real small. I'm fly, I'm so high. They seem to get along. Anyways, the next character in this story is Elizabeth. She's the main character, and she's the most intelligent, sensible daughter out of the three. Um, however, uh, she does have a mouth that can get her in trouble, and she's rather boring. Did you really just say that? Like I said, mouth can get her in trouble, and she's very boring. The next character in this story is Elizabeth's mother, Mrs. Bennet. She is quite the female, and apparently she's quite enforcive. However, her daughter Jane thinks otherwise. My mom really means well. She really is the sweetest person I know. I have five daughters. They all have to be married. I'm not saying they should be gold diggers, but when my husband, you know, dies, what am I going to live off of? My daughters. The best place to find a husband? Cafeteria. The next character is the sister, Mary. She's extremely quiet, a total nerd, and socially awkward, and she likes to read. And read. Oh, and read. Oh, and also read. Guess what? Read. 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 Read some more, read again, flip through pages. Oh, 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 guess what, read. Do you guys have Judy Jones? Ah, uh, yes, that just came in today. We have it. Oh, they have it, they have it. I think the key to success is education. No, Mary, finding a husband. What a weirdo. Oh well, Lori Boy on the story. The daughter Jane and Bingley have a secret love for each other and like each other for who they are. Hey babe. Hey. Bingley just might like the tush. And we all know Mrs. Bennett is very enforcive when it comes to manage and getting with other men. So ladies, how was prom? It was pretty good. Yeah, it was it was good. Okay. Good. Show me your hickeys. Who got some? Tell me who got some. Mom, we're not no. like that. What do you think we, we are? Say? What? You didn't get any? No, Mom, we're not like that. What do you think <laughs> we are? Are you serious? Are you? Okay. Oh All right, God. cool. 
in fact so impulsive that she even drove Jane up to meet Bigley at his car, then made them meet each other in front of her, made them awkwardly hug, then asked if they're going to get married, therefore making Jane walk away in frustration and embarrassment, then making Bigley peel out in embarrassment and shame. But that won't even stop her. Mom, stop. You're seriously so embarrassing. Stop. Mom, stop. You will get married and I will do whatever you need. I hope you have insurance. Do you like Coke? Diet Coke? Mountain? Mountain? Mount, personally, kind of a Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh! oh, God. oh. Oh. What the heck? Dude, Are you dude. serious? It's okay. You crazy Relax, Darcy. Relax. After it's all said and done, though, the Bennett girls are all unique in their own special way. Let's just say my daughters know how to drop it like it's hot.